everyone. Um, this is Dr. Müller, and I thought for those of you who are not able to actually physically come to the uh, West Palm Beach campus and see the lab, I'm going to give you a quick tour so that you get some idea where we actually spend some of our time. So when you get into the door, here, right straight up, there is the first instrument, which is an autoclave. And the autoclave is being used to sterilize samples that is to prepare it before you want to use it or to inactivate anything you have done. And then next to it there is a shaker which you can turn on and then it starts to turn and it keeps your bacterial cultures mainly shaking so that they can grow um, as much as you want them to. And then next to it there is a fridge. I guess you are familiar with that. A lot of samples in the biological lab need to be cool and that's where we store all those. If we move on, on this side, in the back of the lab, we have a water purifier to make distilled water. And then here, this is a centrifuge, a very small centrifuge where you can spin your samples. And then next to it is a vortex, that's the opposite here. You wanna mix your samples so it starts vibrating a lot when you turn it on. Here there is a scale. And then next to it is the sink. So unfortunately that's also part of the lab. We do have to clean all, all of our supplies. And then also of course right now it's important because we wanna clean and wash our hands. Here's a microwave, you're probably familiar with that. And then next to it is a PCR machine. A PCR machine is being used to copy DNA and make a lot of them. And you might have heard of it because right now it's in the news a lot because of the coronavirus testing. So this is one of those machines. Next to it, we have another vortex. We have a heating block to keep samples at certain temperatures. There's a light source, another scale, and then here there is an incubator where you can put samples in to have them grow at certain temperatures, such as for instance 37 degrees Celsius, which would be the body temperature of a human. Another centrifuge, another vortex, and this is a little bit a bigger centrifuge, so you can see that there are certain uh, several different types. And then last, there is a spectrophotometer which is being used to measure. One option is to measure the cloudiness of bacterial cultures. And you can also measure absorbance, so how colorful a sample actually is. And then on the other side of the lab, we have the standard lab supplies, such as water bottles, ethanol bottles, Erlenmeyer flasks, racks, pipettes, and then the more chemical types of supplies, such as the graduated cylinders, bottles, and beakers. I do hope that this was a little bit helpful, that you have a better idea of what we are doing here. If you have any questions or you want to have another tour, let me know.